All right, guys, airbrushing a hat with Jaime Rodriguez, jrodairbrush.com. I'm going to just talk about how I go about a black hat. First of all, this design I'm doing is for myself, so I'm going to take my time on it. So far, so good. I've been doing so. And I'm just kind of plucking out the details. I'm working very thin. For fine hairline detail, it's very essential to work very, very transparent. That way you uh, optimize detail. Uh, the only, the, the best way to achieve detail is working very thin. And working thin allows you to do a, a lot of things. Allows you to build up very slow. And allows you to get very detailed with your line work. Uh, in particularly allows you to get that, that hairline. And that's achieved by having an airbrush first that can get you that line quality, but also knowing how to mix your paint to get to that quality as well. Uh, but if you don't got a good working gun, it ain't gonna happen. But if you got great control over the airbrush, you, uh, and all the circumstances are there in terms of uh, you know your setup is done right, your paint, then you can get some amazing lines. And uh, with control, you know, comes good line work. Good control promotes good line work. Again, that perfect consistency of paint. As you can see there, I'm just kind of plucking in at the details. This is my uh, hat for my uh, company. Pure Image Designs. This is all freehand, no templates. Hats are one of the more challenging things to paint because of the angle in which you got to get the airbrush. You got to kind of wedge yourself in there without bumping on the brim. So it's uh, very challenging to paint hats. Uh, but with uh, you know, practice makes perfect, so trying to get good at hats is practice. But uh, perfect practice is better. And I talk about that in a lot of videos that I do as well as my personal DVD. Right now I'm highlighting each letter with the white and coming in and giving a real nice fine hairline just to give it that real clean touch. The subtleties like that is what's going to set your art, set your art apart from the rest. Is you going that extra mile and adding details like that? You're going to find yourself uh, controlling your breath a lot, a lot more because every movement of your body matters when it comes to achieving this type of, of detail so you're gonna have to be very still it's almost uh, it's pretty challenging talking